Alrighty guys, it's about to get wacky and wild today. We got a movie we're gonna be checking out. That movie is 300. Now this movie, it came out back whenever I was like really young. I think it said 2006, so yeah, that's quite a while back ago. Now, I've never have really watched a movie like this before, so it's gonna be interesting watching like a movie that's based all around like war and everything. I actually do know though that this movie is like based around like a historical like event that actually did happen now i think that like the whole story within the movie is not true but i know the setting is like accurate because the only reason why i know that is because back in high school i had this history teacher i think it was for like world history or something um he showed like an actual clip from this movie because it was based around um the spartans and everything and also, I'm just gonna put this out here. I really do not know a whole lot about history. Like, I really don't even know a whole lot about American history. So I'm really dumb when it comes to that. Hopefully you guys can maybe let me know down in the comments some more about, you know, the movie and everything. If I do become a little bit confused at some parts, you know. It's not that I hate history or anything. It's just that I have never taken the time and effort to, you know, read books and everything about what has happened in the past. That's the only few things I know about this movie. I remember back in that history class too, we actually had to take like a paper home for our parents to sign to even allow us to like watch the clip too. I think it was because this movie's actually rated R so you know back then you know we were kind of young so but yeah we're gonna hop into it. If you guys do enjoy this video make sure to give this video a like because it does help this video to get pushed out more on YouTube and if you guys want to stay tuned for more of my movie reactions make sure to hit the subscribe button because I am gonna be hitting a lot of movies this month. I'm gonna start doing a lot more movies on this channel so stay tuned for that. And yeah, if you guys need to go get a snack or a drink or anything, go do that now and let's hop into this movie. Here we go, Warner Bros. Pictures. 300. What does 300 even mean? That's the first question that I have. I'm sure you guys will let me know down in the comments or maybe I might find out within this movie. It would have been discarded. Okay, so they had to be like healthy babies and stuff. Yo! I mean, I know back then they were like a lot more brutal and stuff, but like, Taught you're smacking, you just hit him. Surrender. He's a kid, what the heck? The death into a world of violence. That's kind of sad. Actually, no, it's not kind of sad, that is really sad. Years. Whoa! <laughs> Why did it have to be so bloody? What the hell? The boy was punished. Thought to show no pain. No Alright, so like, these soldiers, they really had to be like, really tough like overly tough they, they they had to get tortured and everything like what Fur as dark all right let's see who's gonna win the boy or the wolf i got my George money on the wolf the hell. <laughs> Perfect. okay then uh so this is like spartans right so then um their king is king leonidas all right, here we go. I totally did not hear who they said they were going against or who they're fighting. Did you say Greece? Oh wait, no, these are th this ain't even them. Hold up, wait, who are these people? That's uh, one way to introduce yourself by just showing a bunch of s skull heads, okay. <laughs> Earth and water. Wait, what? Because only Spartan women give birth to real men. They may be your last. Okay, so this is the Leonidas guy right here. All right, that's what I thought. Okay. Hmm. What's he gonna choose? What's he gonna tell him? I do like this music in the background too. Madman. Whoa. The crowns and heads of conquered kings to my city steps. He did do that. What's happening? This is Sparta! <laughs> Wait, okay. I, I actually, I know that little like saying because I've heard it before. I didn't know it came from this movie. That's crazy. Wait, oh, I finally know where it came from. Okay, so this is Sparta. I just want to see this again. This is Sparta! No. I wonder how deep that hole is. <laughs> see ya, buddy. <laughs> that would be brutal death right there. Just fall into your death in a black hole like that. Uh-oh. 
we have been expecting you. Uh. More creature than man. Look like it. Creatures whom he Man, these guys just look so creepy. Sucks the oracle. I don't know, man. It seems a little too easy. I feel like there's going to be more to that. This whole thing with these people is kind of weird. I don't know. And souls as black as hell. Honestly, I'm just going to say it right now. This is some of the most weirdest stuff I've ever seen in a movie or a TV show or just anything I've seen. I'm like, what? Is this actually true? Did, did this actually happen? I'm going to guess it did. God. Yo, all right, she's kind of giving him a little pep talk right there. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna have to be cutting a lot of stuff out, like just from the start so far, just because this movie has been showing, you know, some boobies and stuff, so I can't be getting banned on YouTube, so I'm gonna be have to cutting a lot of these parts out, kind of. But uh, yeah, just want to let you know if there's if it seems like I'm cutting out a lot more. Well, here we go again, even more nudity. Yeah, I, I really like the uh, whole like. Uh, background scenes and everything even though I know it's probably just screen screen and everything, but it still looks cool I'm just gonna say right now that guy that they kept looking at I think it was that guy's son or something I bet he's gonna die at some point in this movie just because why would they show him if, if that ain't gonna happen or something's gonna happen there like I don't know something's gonna happen. I know just taking a stroll stretching my legs personal bodyguard <laughs> There they go. Just gonna have to tell his wife goodbye for now. Man, I do love the music in this movie so far, though. She gave him her necklace. Okay. Come back with your shield. There's no room for softness. Ah, I was wondering why doesn't he say anything back, like bye or something? Or it's kind of interesting, though, to know like this lifestyle that they had like back then with these Spartans, the way they had to live and everything, how they had to like act. It wasn't even saying like at the start of the movie like if you weren't like a healthy baby or anything they would just kill you like it's kind of crazy it had to be tough what is your profession <laughs> i get it now so he's more like his men are tougher so he just doesn't sleep it's interesting too that they had to like since they don't have like a lot of men compared to um, the army that they're about to go against, I guess the Persians or whatever. Um, it's interesting because they had to be a lot more strategic with their um, war plans and everything. So that's why they were wanting to get them like in this like narrow like area or something. So they could just attack them with their shields. Yikes. Why'd they have to kill a horse? Yo, that was so loud, jeez. Oh, is that them? Are they coming? There's just one dude? Or one girl? What? Have the gods no mercy. Oh, they're gonna be dead, aren't they? What the f- Yo! Okay, <laughs> these Persian people, they, they're brutal. Like, I know the Spartans are brutal, but like, what? Why do they gotta be so, like disgusting with their deaths like what like honestly did they do this type of stuff this is just mind-blowing to me it's like that's them how are they expecting to win this <laughs> so these storms are actually helping them then it's humongous army jeez why do you smile <laughs> He's, he's like, these people are crazy. <laughs> he's probably definitely thinking, these people are insane. It's all about the mindset, I guess. That's what the difference between these two uh, groups that are here right now. Yo, whoa. Someone show me your commander. <laughs> They're just gonna ignore him. Jeez, man, like... Yo! My arm! <laughs> He's 
Jessica is Arma. Yeah, I'm like, I, I don't know if you should be listening to him. <laughs> Poor guy. He's like going in rage mode now. I don't know. I don't know if I would trust him now. Are they already coming? <laughs> Whoa. I mean... Alright, Leonidas seems like a good leader and everything. He seems like he's a pretty smart guy, but you know, when you see this right here, you're probably thinking to yourself, I, I don't know how this is going to be possible, but we'll see. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. <sighs> you think they're really going to do that? Like, come on, man. <laughs> Who threw that? <laughs> Whoever did, they had really good aim. <laughs> All right, here we go. So they are back into that little gateway or whatever. Whoa. There we go. Whoa. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it's working so far, kind of. They're just using their shields. They're just like, Whoa. This is really brutal. <laughs> they going right through them. This guy is badass. I go, I like these Spartans. Oh, is he gonna throw it? Woo. Yo, this guy's just running through them all. There's like, shh, shh. Just slice that dude's leg off. They really are showing him, man. Like, like, they are like real soldiers, like real like warriors. Like, it doesn't matter that the other team, um, the other army has like a bunch more men. If you have the mindset of like a warrior, it, 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 they they gonna win. Now they're retreating. <laughs> it's either they gonna fall off or they are gonna die. <laughs> oh, there they go. Man, they just took them out like it was nothing, kinda. <laughs> Holy crap! They better put their shields up. What are they doing? <laughs> they just like what? <laughs> For their own men are getting shot up now, the, the ones that were actually kind of alive. It's like, they live for this. Like, they get enjoyment out of this. I would say, you know, try to avoid killing the horses. Just because, you know, the horses, they're, they're nice animals. Like, but I know that's not what's going to happen. I know these horses are about to die. Ooh. I really was not expecting this movie to be no this, like, gory no and much. bloody and everything. They kind of went all out in this. <laughs> See, I know this guy came up to her like uh, a little bit ago in the movie too. I really don't know what's really going on here. They're talking about going and talking to this council, but I really don't know what it's about or anything. So maybe just let me know down in the comments if I don't manage to understand by the end of this movie. Sensing some creepy stuff happening now. Like what? <laughs> He's just chilling, just eating an apple. Uh, his men are just, you know, finishing off, you know, the people who were still kind of alive. What kind of guy is this? <laughs> like, what? Having his old men just carry him like that? Why does he got all these, like, chain things around him and stuff? Like, what? Really tall. You definitely see the, the difference in, like, the leadership and, like, their um, own values and stuff like Leonidas cares a lot about his people and the soldiers fighting for him But then this guy doesn't really care at all and he uses his own people like as slaves and everything It's just like totally polar opposites here <laughs> Just Moving swinging back. these dead bodies around and so they created like this wall of dead bodies again or whatever man It's about to get wild and wacky like you said <laughs> Okay, so these are like the, the deadliest fighting force in all of Asia. Alright, we'll see. We'll see how they do against the Spartans. Yeah, they're gonna have to get through this the God King has wall of dead bodies. Lord. Wait, they're inside it or something? Or they're like on the other side? <laughs> Just make them fall over. Alright, that's a good way to start, I guess. 
They really do have really good war plans. The heck is that? What kind of creature is that? Is that like a real? They can't be a real person. <laughs> Wait a minute. Ain't that like the same people that were at that um, one like little ritual place? Ain't that the same type of person or whatever? It looks like one of them. So is they are they like helping like the Persians or whatever? Is that what that is supposed to show right there? Oh Jesus! Yo! <laughs> Thank goodness he helped him there. This guy's like a giant. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's ah. he's gonna pull it out like it's nothing. No way. Hey, that's where they wear those type of helmets, right? <laughs> okay, now he doesn't have a helmet. Yeah, yeah, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Stab him right in the face. Ooh, <laughs> right in the eye. Damn. <laughs> this movie's brutal. Holy crap. See, another really good plan right there. Just have those people just all of a sudden come out. They do their part. <laughs> they do their part. <laughs> I thought these were supposed to be the elites and stuff, you know. These were supposed to be the really good soldiers. Hey. Got the music now. Yo, what the heck? Is that like a rhino? <laughs> Did you just get stand there? After he threw the spear at him? Oh damn, that one spear actually killed him? I thought Rhino would be a little bit tougher than that. Oh! <laughs> what the heck is this now? He disciplines them. What the heck? Bro, things were just so much different back then, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna say, you don't want to mess with a Spartan. But damn, so badass. Uh-oh. No. What'd I tell you? Whenever I said at the start, whenever they had him on, and then he was saying that, yeah, that's his son and everything, I told you guys that he was gonna die. I knew it, he was gonna die. Because there was to be no point to even mentioning that at all. And why does he have to die such a brutal death like that? Like, what? Right in front of his dad, too? Yeah, he's gonna be taking out every single one of them now. Damn, bro. Oh, he's gonna allow him to be on his team now? This guy's a weakling. Changing sides. Going to the enemy. Looks like he might go and die when they ever, whenever they go against the Spartans pretty soon. Oh, so this whole council thing is, I think it's to be able to send more soldiers then. Okay. Woo! Okay, so I definitely don't like that guy at all. I guess she feels like that he, she really does need his help in order to um, have a chance to change, you know, the council's decision so that they can send more reinforcements to um, Leonidas and everything. But that's crazy that he, uh was wanting that from her. I guess that's just, you know, more of like how it was back then, you know, cause women weren't, you know, treated as fairly as men were back then. It's really fucked up. And uh, I'll be interested to see if uh, Leonidas will find out about that. Because if he does, that guy's probably gonna die. The forces you posted there were oh, it's that one guy. Oh, he's like, he's giving the necklace too. All right. So he sent him back to be the messenger with that necklace that his I'm wife gave him. All right, let's see if it works out. I don't know if it will. But your husband has brought war upon us. You are wrong. Wait, I thought he was supposed to help him. Or I thought he was supposed to help her. So this guy basically lied to her all this time now. That's right. Hell yeah. I was about to say he uh Leonidas is gonna have to come and kick his butt, but uh she did it. 
Good stuff though. I like that she did that. C needed to go. Alright, here they come. So they're gonna be coming like from the behind them and in front of them. We'll make a mighty ally. Oh, there's that guy. And kneel to holy Xerxes. He ain't gonna do it. <laughs> it's gonna give him that stare down right now. He gonna be like, did all this stuff? And you think I'm just gonna kneel? Hell no. <laughs> Oh, it's back to the wolf at the start. More than 30. Wait, does he? I think he thinks he's actually gonna kneel. She... Wait, so I don't understand. There, there's no way. There has to be something more to this. He's tricking him or something, right? There we go. <laughs> I knew it. I was about to say, there's no way. <laughs> is far away. Oh, everything's so planned out. That's why he dropped the shield and everything. Ooh. Wasn't completely on target though, but still got a little bit of it. Oh no. Wait, are they actually like all dying? Well, this is sad. I wasn't expecting them all to just kind of die now. To die at your side. Wow, that's loyalty right there. My love. That's actually really sad. No, because I actually... I, I honestly thought, like, even though, you know, he was like, kind of saying that like, they're gonna die and stuff but I thought they were still gonna win it in the end still and he was the one that he sent back with the necklace and everything so so sad and even like now the son too now she's gonna have to tell him that he ain't coming back right so it's ain't he ain't now the son gonna be the new king ain't that like how they did it back then I actually just realized now that it was this guy this whole time that was doing the narration. I didn't even know. It didn't. Even, I didn't even put two and two together like his voice. So my king died, and my brothers died. Xerxes Forge face obliteration. <laughs> Holy. Let's go. So I'm gonna guess they win it then? Or they take out that other king now at the end here? But, okay. So that was 300. Now I understand why it's called 300 because they had the 300 soldiers at the start that's, you know, who died and everything. It was a really cool movie, you know? I don't know exactly how much of it was like historically accurate, like the battles and everything. Like I, I'm gonna assume that, you know, a lot of it was, of course you guys can let me know down in the comments a lot more about, you know, this era and everything. And did the Spartans actually like win it in the end and stuff, like what happened there? This movie definitely showed what a true warrior is and someone who cares about their people more than anything, though they're willing to die for their people. That was all those 300 soldiers right there because they were going up against so many Persian army members and everything. They were like outnumbered, but they didn't stop them because they had that warrior mindset. They were also very smart with their war plans and everything. And they were able to, you know, take out a lot of their people. I really wish at the end Leonidas would have been able to throw that spear and would have got the guy more, you know, and would have, you know, killed him just to get, go out with it but uh unfortunately he missed uh, just just by a smidge man but yeah it was a really dope movie um the side story you know with the wife and everything and about like the council and how she was trying to speak out against the council to send more soldiers and everything i really don't know how that played into the movie really and it really you know because it never really went through i guess um and because that guy kind of ruined it so then he died so that part of the movie, you know, was kind of, I, I, I really know why it was there, but the main part of this movie, I really liked. I really enjoyed this movie a lot. After watching this whole movie though, I really don't remember which part my history teacher actually showed. I was trying to figure out which one it would be. Maybe it was one of those battles that they had. Actually, when I get to thinking about it, it could have been that we were learning about the Spartans and we were learning, you know, about how they use strategy within their war plans. That sounds actually, 
kind of right when I get to think about it. Anyways, this was a great movie. Let me know down in the comments what you guys first thought about this movie whenever you first checked it out. My dog is barking right now. Also, if you guys got recommendations on movies that I should check out next, make sure to let me know that down in the comments as well. I will be continuing my Harry Potter reactions, so if you have been watching them, uh, stay tuned. That will probably be my next uh, reaction. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this with me. If you guys did, you guys will stay tuned for more of my movie reactions. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell down there to be notified when the next banger show. I'll see you guys in the next one. I freaking love you guys. Peace out, guys.